guys. You know what this is. You know what this is. Y'all have to stop doing this because this is expensive. I It's much appreciated, but you don't have to do it. I have a feeling I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to find one that Jamie will approve to go behind our bed. So I can't wait to open it. I hope there's a name inside of who sent it. But um, if you saw the last video, these are those Longhorn skulls that this company takes and they will do all kinds of carvings onto the actual the skull. And then they, of course, leave the horns attached and uh, they look really, really, really pretty. Jamie thought the last one was a little bit too much bling bling. So I can't wait to see what her thoughts are on this one. And I really appreciate the person that did this, but listen to me, you don't have to do this because I know these are expensive. And uh, I promise you, I appreciate it and I'll put it to good use. I just gotta find me a place to put them. Okay, so I was just showing the boys, Connor and Lex, where's Lex going? So Connor and Lex are here in the house and I was showing them the packaging that this one came in. But I want you to look at the size difference in the new package. So however long that one right there, however big that one right there is, this one over here, Connor, is not quite double the size, but it's gonna be significantly longer. Oh boy. Hide. This no, don't hide. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the reaction that we worry about here. This is gonna be the reaction that we worry about here. Here she comes. Oh no. She doesn't want to come in the house. Oh no, she's slumped her shoulders. Uh Guess what I got? I want you to Why? notice that I, Jamie, stop the whys. That's, listen though, look at the size difference in the new package. Wait a minute. So the, is this like a his and hers thing? That thing's huge because it is, it's huge. It came in this box. So can you imagine what's gonna be in this new box being it so much longer? The horns come off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the horns so come off. The horns were separated. So they, like, they put the horns stuck on and then like. Yeah. Uh huh. And with the head. Y'all want to open it? Yes, sir. There you go. All right. Perfect. That's two. Oh, you have a lot more to go, Lex. You want to put your hair in a ponytail or no. out of your face? And that's three. Thank you. Then there's this one. And I'm going to have to put them all in my pocket. Don't step on your phone. Wait, some of them are taped. We'll move that tape off of this. There's four. That's a good job, Lex. That's fine. All right, big moment. Connor says just use a crowbar. You can't wait any longer. All right. Uh, you gotta like do like a three, two, one, like make it dramatic. Oh, okay. Well, you. Oh, wait. The tape still has it closed over on the end, so we got to get the tape off over All here. All right. The moment of truth. Go ahead, Connor. Pop the top. I hope it's not a snake in there. Ah! Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. Scared me. Oh my Scared me. gosh! The bubble wrap. Let's go. Oh, I can see. I can see something. Oh. Okay. Maggie, pop the bubble wrap. Okay. Okay. Can you pull that horn out of there very carefully? Call Unwrap the horns. This has like a table mount. Careful with the horns though. Yeah, be very careful, don't break them. So the horns are not as long as the other ones were. So I wonder why the box is so much longer. It has to be this, this and to get all that to fit. Lex, put that horn up alongside one of the other horns to see how much difference there are in sizes. About the same? Shorter, longer. Look, it has to match up to the other horn. So look where the tip is at. If the tip over here is going up, that tip has to be going up also. There you go. Okay. All right. You found it. Now work it on there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Let's set it on the wall mount thing. Oh, my gosh. The table mount. So actually, look, it just sits there. Jamie, I think it just sits on it. Okay. I don't know for a fact. What is this? What is this? It's just heavy. I think the phone could fit in here. What size comparison? So, all right, turn it around a little bit facing me so I can see. Lex, bring that one over here so we can give people a chance to see them both. Oh Connor, you scared me, son. 
I'm nervous about that. I'm really... You don't think that's the right way? I'm just nervous. Like, the it, pole it, is going to, like, somebody's going to run into it. Well, does it feel like it's wobbly, like it, it could fall? If that falls, it's going straight to the floor. No, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall. So it's pretty, so sitting fall. on the mantle or sitting somewhere secured, it would be fine. Can I help you? So look at the, the design here. So it's, it's pretty hardcore. These folks are pretty hardcore. Yeah. And so out of the two, so you could actually probably put that on the same mount. Why couldn't you? Yeah. You could probably use the same mount. So the noises y'all hear are the kids jumping on the bubble wrap. Well, Jamie, I don't know what to tell you, but they're pretty neat. They're very intricate, and I think it's a really clever gift. Yeah, it's a very clever gift. Lex, you almost got a horn know, right in your behind. Like, I don't know if I should move or not move. That horn, uh, son... So the newer one, the gray one, I think that the colors are more us, if that makes any sense to you. Not quite so flashy. It does have a lot of skeletons like engraved on it, which just makes it a little bit, I don't know what people are gonna say about this, Jamie. It's, but I'll tell you this, I like art. it. It's art. So it is it's art. Real. It's art. And it's Longhorns, and I think it's beautiful. And I know that whoever built these took a lot of time. And they're yeah. very crafty. And um, they're, 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 they're beautiful. They're thoughtful. But listen, y'all have to stop doing yeah, this. Really, please. I'm going to tell y'all now, whoever this is, there's no name on either one of them. There's nothing inside of the box. But I'm going to tell you that two... More than one carcass in your house is enough, but when you start putting two and three, that gets a little bit morbid. That means you're like a collector of... That's like we're a collector of dead things, and we don't... <laughs> hey folks, Longhorn Lester, and I'm coming to you from the kitchen area over here at Longhorn Lester's here in my shop. Uh, y'all do see that. You do see that, right? Jamie's not speaking to me. Jamie's just not speaking to me, and this is all your fault. Uh, I think it's very kind, but I also know that whoever's doing this is spending a lot of money that you don't need to spend. I think it's beautiful, and I feel like, in a way, I'm responsible because when I made the video of the first Skull Bliss that I was gifted, next thing I know, two weeks later, and a second one shows up. And, of course, they're sent from overseas, so I don't know if it was the same person or there's no there's no note attached. There's no note. I didn't get any emails. I do have some letters I'm going to share with you. I don't know if it's the same person. I don't know if it's the company, but it's beautiful. But uh, Jamie says more than one, and she goes, one's enough. One's bad enough, she said. And then you get two, and it looks like you're some kind of a weirdo. <laughs> I says, Jamie, at least it's a Longhorn, and this is Longhorn Lester's. <sighs> Y'all, thank you, and I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I got this here in the mail. And it says Lester. It's not a keyboard. So when I first opened it, of course, what, what, what do we all see? A big keyboard. And of course, on the envelope, it says Lester. It's not a keyboard. So if it's not a keyboard, I can't wait to see what's inside of it. Let me read the letter first. Um, you guys are so very kind. Hi, Lester. A couple of weeks ago, you made a video about your auger drill struggling with roots. That is true. Yes, there's a lot of roots here at Longhorn Lester's. You then said that you need an axe, but didn't know where to get one because people don't really work with axes anymore. That is true. I did say that. And from what I know, people don't use an axe anymore. So guess what I'm sending you? Oh my gosh. Nope, it's not a keyboard. Look at this. Guys. <laughs> Look, it's a wooden axe. This is an axe. 
I've not seen an ax in, look at this guys. This is awesome. This is not the kind that you throw when you try to hit things, right? Jamie went to a conference once and for the team building activity, they made them all go to a place where they were throwing axes. They were throwing axes. And she said it was the most dangerous thing she's ever done, yet the most exhilarating. And I've seen YouTube videos of people at these places throwing these axes, and they have to actually sometimes duck because if they hit it wrong, it'll come right back in your face. Got I can promise you I will not be throwing this ax. But what I will do is next time I see a good root, I will take this ax to work on it. Thank you very much. Right, so the note goes on. You're doing a really amazing job at Longhorn Lester's. Uh, I'm also happy to hear that Annie might be pregnant uh, and that you have been contacting your Longhorn breeding neighbor. Yes, my neighbor and I have actually become friends. We've done several things together. Um, I went and bought hay off of his pastures. That was this week. I've also gone to look at a contraption that he built where he puts his hay so the longhorns can get to it easy enough, yet they can't play that silly horn game where they like to pull that string and wrap their heads all up in it. And so I'm actually going to purchase one of those from him as well. That's uh, going to be next payday. Those things are pretty expensive. It's really thick and heavy gauged uh, welded uh, metal steel. And so thank you very much. Let me read the name on that. Um, this is... Gabriella from Germany. Thank you, Gabriella, and that's a beautiful name. Uh, over here is one that I got, and it says it's okay to read on a video. It's okay to read on a video. I guess y'all know that there's been times where I've started reading letters, and I end up having to stop because the uh, letter begins to talk about something personal, or I've gotten myself emotional. Oh. Top Dad. Look at this. Celebrating you today and the amazing things that you do year round. And what she's done is gone by and written down almost every animal's name she can think of. And she's got a lot of them. I'm going to read y'all just a few. Copper, O-N-G, Brady, Sissy, Roxy, Tex, Fluffy Kitty, Pig Newton, Thelma, Debbie from Dallas, Luis, Dixie, Maverick, Kate. She even named some of Jamie's ducks. The Dark Knight, Lieutenant Dan, Pearl, Gracie. Guys, she has gone... Listen, I'm stopping already because she has gone by Ringo, Moo, Santana, Adam or Steve, Tiny Tim, Wanda from Waco, Peepath. <laughs> she has done it all. Who is this from? Is there a name on this anywhere? She put Carl. Who is this from? The one thing she did not do was put her name. Wait, on the back. It said, oh, pfft, well, there it is. This is from Anna, and she's in New Mexico. Who is this? <laughs> I did not know what this was at first. It looks like one of our ostrich babies. This looks like one of our ostrich babies. Uh, it's called, um, I saw a, something on here, Jelly Kitty, Jelly Cat, Jelly Cat. Now, this is not a chew toy. This would not be a chew toy. It just must be a name brand, Jelly Cat. And it's a baby ostrich, and that's adorable. Um, now the only problem with this over here, seriously, there's absolutely, well, there are some of these thingamajigs. Here we go. Found it. Uh, Lester and Jamie, thank you for all the great daily entertainment. I too suffer through depression and anxiety. This is for your barn dominium, a forever, a forever, forever friend, Nancy. Uh, and so, okay. So from California, Nancy Waters. Thank you very much, Nancy from California. And she wants me to put this in the barn dominium. And I can definitely do that. I'm gonna set it on the couch in the barn dominium. 
So it'll be sit there and greet us every time we walk in. That's beautiful. All right. Oh my goodness. Look, this is to Fiona and Mildred. To Fiona and Mildred. Welcome to the family. It comes from Lisa. And she says she's a faithful follower. Oh. Um, I still like going with the word family. It's part of the family, the our extended family. So Lisa says, okay, she has a couple of things here. So Lester and Jamie, a little something for these new pups to enjoy while they're adjusting to their new life on the LHL Ranch. Longhorn Lester. Can y'all believe that? This is still so, so surreal for me. I think I'm shaking the table. I love watching your videos. You keep them coming. Don't let the negative shit that social media folks throws out there get you down. Keep rolling your way. And that's the way, listen, ah, man, it's true, y'all. People have been in quite the funk lately, and I'm not blaming it on the people. I'm blaming it on just the times that we live in. Gas is so expensive. The heat, the heat, and it's only June. You have a whole lot of things going on in the world that scares you. You can't find things that, you know, you used to buy. You can't afford to do a lot that you used to afford to do. You still got the threat of COVID here and there, and just, man, there's a lot going on. Wildfires and natural disasters of all sorts, and it's scary times. And so sometimes people begin to get all these things built up, and they just want an outlet. They just want an outlet. And so sometimes there's no one to talk to except for us. And so we put a video out, and... In that little space that says comments, they're allowed to use that as an outlet. And so sometimes when you're reading those comments and you hear such negative and mean things, I don't really think that people are all that bad. And I know that you know that we're not all that bad. I just think that you have a lot of stuff built up and you're scared. And I understand that. And uh, we try to keep it a peaceful place and a happy place and a loving place. But I also know that sometimes people need to talk. They need to vent. They need to let some stuff out. And you've been open and allowed me to vent before. And so I, I just would ask that you just try to keep it respectful. And just try to keep it respectful. Especially of each other. We don't want to have the pages become where we fight and argue over things that we have no control over. Very kind of you. Now she has a note to, to Fiona and Millie. There's some dog beds to keep you warm in the winter. Dog toys, tough ones, so you don't chew everything inside over at Longhorn Lester's. Your daddy has enough to do on the ranch other than fix what you're going to break. Boy, if you only knew. Uh, there's a chuck it so he can throw you the ball far. You'll both be pooped by the end of the day. And of course, there's snacks. Chewies will deliver directly to you. Oh, your personalized Yeti dog bowls will be coming soon. You made it to the best family as a rescue. <laughs> Why am I going to cry about that? Uh -uh. I'm a man holding an axe. Do not make me cry. Do not make me cry. I'm a man holding an axe. I'm going to put the soft the end on it so I don't end up doing something crazy. Why did that make me emotional? Because I'm hot. See, I'm hot. And when you get hot, you get stressed. You ain't no rain. There's no air. And I'm getting stressed. And all of a sudden, I start crying. Where did that come from? Okay, this last one. It says to Lester and Jamie. And then on the back, it says, make sure you read this before opening the gold envelope. Granny, Grandma, Grandma Betty. And it says, read this now. You must read it before I send the gold envelope. On second thought, the closer to July 4th, the better for the gold envelope. So I'm going to read this letter now. Okay, Lester and Jamie. Oh, no. I'm 77 years old. I'm so slow. I said I was working on something to send you. And now, you just said you're not going to do any more gifts and goodies. And mark my word, 
you're going to kick yourself, Lester, for a long time if you don't record opening this particular one. Oh, you don't believe me? Then open it. Okay. So I'm looking for a yellow envelope then, a gold envelope. Um, I'm mailing this today on June 13th. And now that I have the gold envelope, I will mail it on about June 15th through 16th. I'm hoping you have read this first. Trust me, you will really enjoy sharing this from Grandma Betty. Okay, so I'm on the lookout for a gold envelope. Now, if she mailed this on June 13th, and I'm only opening it today, that shows you I'm quite a bit behind on the gifts and goodies. Sorry. But uh, what I'm going to be looking for is a gold envelope, and that will come in the near, very near future. <laughs> and now, so let me just address that real fast, and then I'll be done. I don't like doing gifts and goodies, y'all. It makes me feel bad on the inside. It makes me feel bad on the inside to be receiving things that are, you know, when you shower us with things, and there's so many people in the world that are that are really struggling right now. And I say the entire world are struggling. And so I understand how there's people who like to gift because, you know, you get a blessing from giving. And we welcome your gifts. But I don't want you to ever think that you have any kind of obligation to gift us anything. Find money or gifts. Please, I, I implore of you to use your money or save it on yourselves, you know, because I don't know. The times that we live in are scary, and I never want to be the cause of anybody ever saying that we're the kind of family who asked who ask and asked for more and more and more. God has blessed us. Uh, he opened a door for us after Hurricane Harvey into the world of social media, and we've all taken that leap of faith in through that door. And it's doing beautiful things for us. But those are advertisers. And those folks have plenty of money. So if anybody on Morrow Hill or anybody who does social media, anybody, don't let them fool you into asking you for donations or asking you for gifts or asking you for anything. If they have found a window into social media, I've said this time and time before, you make them work for their money. Don't let them use their window into social media to take advantage of you. Well, I don't mean to end the this on a bad note. I'm sitting here blessed in a big, beautiful shop uh, along with 20 acres of land that we bought recently from monies from social media, from advertisers. Advertisers. And so... That's how social media works, my friends. So you can love and let us love you back. And you can love the animals and let them love you back. And you can gift by just watching the videos and reading the comments and sometimes putting a comment. Always you can hit the like or the subscribe button if you want to to help the pages grow. But don't you ever feel an obligation to send us anything, okay? And I'm, I speak for myself and I also speak for all of us on Morrow Hill. And I'm going to go ahead and probably get to myself into a lot of trouble in the social media world by saying, do not let any social media person convince you to send them just this much. Just send us this much. If you'll just send us this much, we can do blah, blah, blah. Because if they're on social media, they've already been blessed. They've been blessed with a window of opportunity. And now you make them work for it. Make them work for it. And so that's just my little rant for today. Thank you so very much. I'm going to put all of these things to use for the, I appreciate you guys acknowledging Millie and Fiona. They don't get a whole lot of spotlight because Longhorn Lester's was, you know, here for the Longhorns. And uh, we've done a few other things and to make this place, you know, safer for the babies. And once those pups get to be good sized dogs, they're going to be a, force to be reckoned with, and they're going to keep our babies here a lot safer and have a lot of movement around the house, which makes the whole place safer, you know? And so we love you so very much, and we appreciate all that you do for us, and these cards and letters and comments that you put are very kind. Y'all be good to each other, and thank you for being so good to us, all right? Uh -huh.
Thank you.